Hey, good morning. Let's go on a hike. This one will not be with adult gummies. This one's just gonna be regular. Regular, sober in our mind, blessing up every day that we've lived because life's really great, guys, and we make ourselves go on hikes. A few moments later. Uh, so guys, earlier when I said we were doing this sober, that's obviously not the case. That was just something I said to throw off my FBI agent, we will be getting Scooby-Doo. So you guys really like when I wear Hoochie Daddy stuff. So we've got a Ooh. Hoochie Daddy shirt. Sorry, shorts. And you know, I made this crop top a while ago, but it's also like really like gloomy outside. I don't know if you can tell, but that's, that's the shine of gloom. That's the shine of go back to bed. So let's see what it's like. I don't know what we're doing with all this. We might just, we might just put it up and call it a day. Usually I go hike and then I go to the gym, but sometimes I put together my hike outfit and I'm like, that's not, that's the kind of outfit that you see in motion. It's like, I don't want to be wearing this and it's like this, I'm trapped here. And then you look at me and you're like, look, look at that guy, he's so bad at dressing. And I'm like, but if I'm going up a mountain, they're like, look at that guy, he's so bad at dressing. They're not saying that, they're like, look at that guy going up a mountain. And it's mountain first, dress second. At the gym, it's dress first. Anyways, <laughs> pump myself up to go outside because I have developed severe social anxiety and the mere thought of leaving my house sometimes fills me with really bad feelings. Do you too suffer from bad feelings? Well, tune in in the next three seconds for a shocking revelation. Zach, why don't you have a girlfriend? I don't know, maybe because all my videos, I, I self-impose an angle like this. One time my grandfather told me, because he probably knew I wanted to be an actor. He's like, oh no, you got a good side and a bad side. I'll let you guys decide what he said. I was like 12. It stuck with me. I like to wear big shirts because I'm a big guy. Another one. I know you don't think it because your phone's small, but uh, in real life, real big. Big guy. This guy right here, biggest guy you'll ever know. <gasps> Okay, I lied about the hoochie daddy shorts because I realized I had washed my running shorts. Get yourself a pair of running shorts, guys. Look at this leg mobility. Are you fucking kidding me? I would, I could do that for as long as I like because I have the leg mobility, not because my cardio is bad and that's didn't want to do it. All right, I have downstairs neighbors. We're gonna, we're going on a hike. That's where you're gonna see the cardiovascular abilities. Not here. And it's all thanks to you. Yeah, that was if you were concerned before that I wasn't very good at athleticism. That, I put those to rest. <laughs> and we're cropped. Okay. What do you think, guys? I think it's wrinkly. Let's put our hair up and see if that changes how we feel about ourselves. Severely harsh angle. Oh, with the pink scrunchie, boy, I'm gonna be churning freaking heads today. Mm. This is a new series called, hey, how bad can we look and go out and exercise in public? All right, let's change all of this. We gotta change all of this hair down. We went from cute yas to San Diego. Let's do it, here's a cool transition. I look like, I look like I could play uh, the lion in Lion King, no. In, in Wizard of Oz. So I haven't like fully come to terms with my head shape yet. So when I put my hair up, like I don't know how you guys do it so well. First of all, I got all these bumps. You know what I mean? I've hit my head too many times as a child. It's also like the front bangs ain't enough. And I ain't some cute girl who can do like just a one little curl and a thing on the back. They're gonna look at me and say, you're a full grown man. What are you doing, Pinocchio? Sometimes I'll just wear a headband, but you know these curls ain't gonna last in the wind. I need some protection. I need some protection. I need some, see what I mean? There's something ain't right here. Something ain't right here. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. All right, well, you know, we could do ponytail through the back. You know what I mean? That's kind of cool. Or we could just, we could go full on Bradley Cooper's Star is Born. Just all, let it all hang out, you know? If I'm ever chatting with someone, they're like, I don't like cats. I'm like, 
You gotta go. Look at this little guy. He ain't bothering nobody. Oh, he's made of li liquid. Cats are made of liquid, in case you didn't know. They're, we we think we're made of water, but they're actually made of liquid. Okay. Oh, what a catch. All right. What about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? This hairstyle right here. This is the one. This is where I want to be. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about this, Rick. You gotta, you gotta shove him way up there, Morty, way up there. You know, this Morty, Morty, Morty. <coughs> <coughs> All right. That'll do it. <clears throat> That'll do it. We're gonna wear some chucks. Last time I did this, y'all were like, bro, hiking in chucks? You're freaking crazy, dude. And to that, I say... It's rude to point out people's mental health issues and capacities on the internet, Leonard. Think on that next time. All right, how do you guys rate it? <clears throat> Who is this guy? This guy looks like he's training to be uh, the part in Forrest Gump when Forrest goes on like some long distance runs. And they're like, are you doing this for world peace? And he's like, I just love Jenny. You know, that's, that's what this is giving today. Oh, I already freaking forgot. We usually go with the Bond girl established 1969, which is hilarious. But I forgot, we just got this new tennis mom hat. I feel like I like this color of blue better, but this, this, this is fun for me. I'd be such a good tennis mom. You don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know. You? You don't even know. Okay, let me give you the side comparison. One, two. Tell me this boy. I mean, this boy is a little more broken in. That's for sure. So, and the and the only way you're gonna do it. So this this is more of a conversation starter. So I think we're gonna we're gonna stick here. Okay, I'm gonna go with the looser one. I realize the time to break in a hat is not during like a three mile hike because it's gonna it's gonna give me a tension headache. Like I've got long hair, I've started tying it up. I don't know how you guys tie up your hair. It gives me a headache. It gives me a headache. You know the tummy ache? But in the head. Tummy head. I'm explaining this in terms that you can understand. Drink some freaking water, okay? That's why your tummy hurts all the time. Cause you just fucking you just been not having any water. You're having way too much caffeine. You're not even really eating. And then you're like, oh, what if I just uh, to drink some water? How much have you had? Stop. Pause this video right now. Here. Okay, good. You just checked how much water you got. How much is your water? Oh, you've had enough today. Oh, that's totally my mistake. No, you're very So I changed my mind. We did pop a gummy. I realized that you guys, you guys are here for the content. And let's see how silly we get. Uh, this time I'm popping it not as I'm walking out the door five minutes before. I think the last time it didn't hit me until I was like coming down the side of the mountain. And I ran out of phone battery. This time we're at 50% phone battery. So we're not going to run out this time. We're not going to run out of battery this time. When is this vlog going to be posted? I don't know. I got a whole other one I did at this film premiere that turns out they cut me from the film, so then I just cried a lot in my car. That's going to be the vlog. If you've been waiting for... Oh. 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 If you've been waiting for Zach Cries in the car vlog, well, then it's coming up. And it's going to be just for you. The white tube socks that belong to my father. This one's for free. Yeah, I got big old feet, you fucking pervert. I probably, this is, this is family friendly. I'm going to bleep out maybe most of these curse words in post. Here are the off-brand Chucks. Guys, got these at H&M. Not even at H&M. They're H&M brand. I got them fucking used secondhand. They're size 44. Yeah, you know what that means? It hot. So I only put a little bit on. Yeah, good. I'm glad you do. <clears throat> SBF, kids, don't be an idiot. You know, this whole time I've been using retinol, but I've only been using it like a couple times a month. I realize you should be working up to using it like a couple times a week. That's nuts. I use this stuff so sparingly, you know, but I really shouldn't. I got this new sunscreen that's coming today. Uh, like most things in my life, it was influenced from a TikTok. Bro, look how nuts my hair is. This angle, this camera angle is nuts. 
So Zach, you work on the internet? Yeah. So you must have like tons of people that are like, wow, you're so beautiful and uh, I want to uh, marry you and give, and, and give you everything you want in life. And I'm like, there's different types of people on the internet. We ain't one of them pretty influences doing pretty things. We're the ones doing this. Who else is doing this? Who else? Who else on the internet is doing this? Who else? Who else has such a lack of regard for how they look on the internet that they are willing to ace venture you? This is the view. If you, if you were my groin area and you were wondering what it would look like, is <laughs> I have given up in life. I'm basically Jack Black and Nick Miller put together and a sprinkle of Ryan Reynolds. Now that I've thoroughly embarrassed myself on video for your hopefully entertainment that nobody asked for, Bruh. let's go get our exercise on. Hey, kid. <laughs> the left ah! his eyes. Let me let you in on a little secret of something men do that, or at least part of the part of the man meme collection. Before you go out anywhere, let me let me do it for you. Okay, this is men. Five minutes before they have to leave for work or go anywhere. They're sitting down, right? Imagine my shoes are on. This can happen after, usually after the shoes are on. Like we're, you're ready to walk out the door, keys in hand, okay? And you, you just got finished setting up. You're sitting down for just a beat. And so this is it, you sit. And that can continue from anywhere from 90 seconds to 10 minutes. And there will not be any scrolling on the phone. The second you, the second you break this, it's go time. It's like you were in hibernation. You're prepping for whatever. You know what I mean? You're ready to go. Guys in the comment section, back me up. Also, guys, quick little tip. You want to send her a sexy photo? Next time, you just don't do a little dingling. You take your phone, be a little bit closer, give it a little bit of a downward tilt, okay? You want to think about their perspective. They're not, they, they, they ain't above you like this, you know, unless you're into that and that's okay. That's a separate conversation, but most speaking this, you know, that's what they send you because women are smarter than you because you're big old dumb, dumb. Okay. And they know that you want to be looking up and down and seeing all this. This is what they want. Ben, you're here. You should be a little closer than this. You want to lean back. Okay. On the couch is perfect. Hand right here. This is, you know what I mean? And you can be fully fucking clothed, brother. Fully clothed in just one of these. Little hand up, that works too. And it doesn't even matter how you look, bro. I'm one of the silliest, goofiest mofos, bro. But if you just learn how to take your photos, man, they're gonna like, look at me, look at me, look at me, dude. Look at me, mm, 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 Double spin, dude, it's still gonna work. Trust me, try it out. Uh, so guys, earlier when I said we were doing this sober, that's obviously not the case. That was just something I said to throw off my FBI agent. We will be getting scooby dude. Still sober, guys. This is this is pre shenanigans. Believe it or not, my regular being is someone that looks like they are on a lot of drugs. And then I do. I've never done drugs, and I never will. A day in my life, I'm perfectly healthy. This is all hypothetical. This is a book. This is a fictitious, this is all a dream. Anyways, when I do, that's when I get normal. So if you see me in public, if you're a cop and you see me not acting normal, that is when I'm normal. And if you see me acting normal, that's when you know that hypothetically, fictitiously speaking, D-U-R-G-S, may or may not have been consumed. They have not, ever. I never have done that. Come on me with a hike as we scooby dooby doo All right, last time this was super quiet. I found a little place to put you guys, but this the top part of this nook is, is coming in. All right, we got the chick. Again, all of this, I think these are like Amazon brand running shorts we picked up in like 2016. This is a, a dry tech, which I think has got to be Kohl's related because it was a gift from my mother from Christmas like a decade ago. We got the Walmart fanny. We got the thrifted Bond Girls hat. It was like 60 cents. We got the off-brand chucks. And we got some white tube socks that we got from my dad. Look at this. Look at this light mobility, guys. Look at this. Look at these bicycle kicks right now. Look, everything, everywhere you go. You know what I mean? Everything's just like a, an opportunity for like success and wellness. And like, we're doing okay. <laughs>
You guys ever leave your house for like exercise purposes and then right when you start, you're like, what am I doing? I should be running. I should be doing exercise and things. But then you think about how you look when you run and how tired you get and you remember it's... it's you make fun of me, that's a medical condition. You're in, you're in trouble. So that right there. So that right there is the Chinese sea that they often do film from here. And I guess they just get to shut down the sidewalk and the street whenever they want. Jimmy Kimmel is also right there. That guy does it all the time. And I can't wait for one day when I meet these people and I get to say, <laughs> you know? Look at these guys. They think because they're famous, they can do whatever they want. But they, they know that we're filming a vlog that anywhere from one to 600 people. Bro, this song is such a bop. I'm gonna play it for you guys right now. You guys can feel what I'm feeling, all right? So I used to be like a distance runner and I told myself, all right, if we're gonna switch to hiking, you gotta like set a good pace. So like I'm out here just like striding, you know what I mean? Just so if you see me, no, no. <laughs> okay, we're about a mile and a half in. If you ever come to Runyon Canyon, Take the W1 trail, no matter what you do. Everybody doing this one right here. But we going out the top top. I'm gonna show you guys. This, this ain't for the week. This is, this is, somebody saw me. This is on me. They saw me. Run. I don't know why I'm running. They're gonna. I'm gonna have to slow down eventually. This is embarrassing. Oh, it's two miles in. I need that. All the way up there. That's where it must have been. Oh. Sir. How far are you, brush? Who's your pal, dude? Here you go. There it is. Last time I was here, we went around that telephone pole, wound up in the bottom of the mountain. I don't really recommend it. It's like a little goat trail you can take, but you wind up walking through some trees. Let me tell you why. Anyways, we are at the top. This is the top of the paved trail that most people take, myself included sometimes. But like, I don't make the hiking rules, but I think if I'm on a mountain higher than you, and I'm in charge. I won the hike. Everybody down there, you lost. To me. And I can't even breathe. So, it was really embarrassing for me. It was so cringe. To just be doing this in public as people walk by. But there's a lady feeding a bunch of dogs on the side of a cliff. Here are all the rich people. We'll never be like them. Mm. <laughs> Edible has not hit. I think next time I do this, we'll wait. We'll take we'll take it and then we'll wait like an hour. Mm. Anyways, last time I got to there, 
and I loop down. I think we're gonna go up there and then just see what that's like. I feel like it's just gonna take us onto a road and we'll just walk, but then we can look at some houses together and maybe hold hands. Maybe. <laughs> All right, we're halfway through the edible is about to kick in. I don't know where we're going. We're just gonna go that way and see what happens. The vibes are starting now. I'm starting one of my favorite albums, Young the Giant, Mind Over Matter. If you wanna vibe with me, start at the top. We're working as far as we get down. I'm gonna make it through the album. Obviously the rest of this vlog is not gonna be an hour. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Somebody buy me this house. Damn. How you doing guys? Turn around finals in, hiked up a mountain. How's the do? How's the do? How's the do? How's the do? This is why I can't film in public, guys. I'm too fucking weird. I, got to, I just gotta stay home. Nobody bothered me. I gotta stay home and feel weird. It's not, it's not even that I feel weird all the time. I, mean, I feel weird a lot of the time. But it's that I have to be weird. Look at this. This is just what it is. No trespassing. Private property. Well, my last name is private, so this property is now mine. Where did these guys come from? Oh. Oh. Okay, that makes more sense. How did they get it? We missed the turn. There's rocks in my shoes. You tired of single? So a skill not a lot of people know I have is recreating TikTok sounds in a mediocre way. <laughs> You're coming on with me. Somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. They heard me doing a TikTok. Run. 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 Okay. Two and a half miles in, we're on like the other side of the mountain now, I think. Cause that way is the way I came. Like that's how we go there. But that over there, that looks like Santa Monica. So I guess we're just kind of like, not quite over it. Cause the valley's on that side of the mountain. You don't know, LA, generally speaking, it can be divided into many different neighborhoods. But one way to think about it is like valley versus LA proper or just the valley burst, insert, whatever neighborhood. <laughs> the majority of the valley, which is just when you're going north on the 101, once you pass the Hollywood Hills, they just clump all that together. <laughs> north Hollywood, Burbank, Glendale, Woodland Hills, like Encino, Sherman, the whole area. Meanwhile, you get over here, you're in Hollywood, you walk three miles, all right, you're in West Hollywood. So yeah, guys, there, there are some cool, nice things you can do in LA. But no matter what, you're always going to be tucked away into a city. So if you kind of want to go exploring off a trail, chances are it's going to end up in a neighborhood. Yeah, well, thanks for joining, guys. I'm going to go home. I'm at like 20%. Uh, as for the edible, what I like about just doing like a little bit and then going on a hike is you don't exactly feel the effects of marijuana. You just feel like you're having an even better room, even better runner's eye. Sure, you might be a little goofy. Don't get behind the heavy machinery, um, but it's not quite the same feeling. If you've never experimented with cannabis and exercise, it's not quite, oh, geez, man. We, we always, you're gonna find yourself in situations where you're gonna be like, I feel like I'm fine, but you know, so yeah, very mellow, very mellow. Enjoy the music, guys. Put on some good tunes and just get out there. I kind of like that it's like a little gray there. So we're going to try to work our way down here. I see that there's a fence, so I don't think we're going to get too far. So we figured it out, guys. You can go up the mountain. You can kind of just follow it down and you get back here. <laughs> this is, we're now at the north entrance of Runyon. I have never entered from this specific entrance before. 
but all we gotta do is get down the mountain, you know? Some about being back on pit makes me think that the hike's too easy. No, gotta go faster. Hello, little governor. <laughs> we gotta catch up, bro. We gotta hurry. All right, guys, we're three miles in. Only in LA can you be enjoying a beautiful hike and rich people go, don't enjoy it too much. <laughs> and don't look in my yard. <laughs> I'm too busy making potions. I don't even know this is a good angle, but there's this TikToker on TikTok, obviously, that I love. She's so fashionable. She has amazing hair, similar to mine, but even better curls. And somebody was asking, like, how do you do all your things all the time? Like, how do you film? And she's like, just the back camera makes me feel more me. And I was like, maybe I'm limiting myself by the front camera, you know? I keep it all close, and I don't even got a new iPhone. All right, we are back at where that paved hike, that thing that we were looking down up on, this is, this is it right here. I don't even know why I bother talking. It might be like, and then I feel like a loser posting up. Then I feel like, does this help? Then I feel like a loser posting bad sound quality on the internet, like I don't <laughs> make money as a professional voice artist. Like, bad for the brand. But you know, I've given up. This is me, guys. I'm in my flop, I'm giving up here. And honestly, this is when you love me most. Because America just wants to see people who are deeply, deeply flawed. <sighs> Try to do better, but then ultimately not because it makes us feel better about ourselves. So you can go down this way, which is like a larger, steep, very steep, like all wood like this, but we need to chose. So we're gonna go like this. Sometimes I walk backwards. That's real good for you. But I'm too high to do that today. All right, guys, we're 365 in. Almost there. Miles, blah, 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 blah. Four miles in, stop in to admire the street sign. What's going on here? Musical Makers Market. Live music, coffee, poems to go. I love to go poems. Last thing I want when uh, it already happened. Okay, well, sorry guys. We gotta make some space for things that happened. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Hey, listen, if you wanna run a fish market, guys, you gotta make sure that your advertising is up to date, okay? Do, or, or put a QR code on there that nobody's gonna use, at the very least. Or put an addendum. You know, it's like you're leaving the Christmas lights up. It's, I, I propose a new law. If you leave your Christmas lights up past April 1st, which is when the market was, you gotta, you gotta either take them down or you gotta put a sign on your house that says, I know and I don't care. Never come back here. Oh. Anyways, yeah, we, I believe we're on Watley Street, maybe? Which street are we on? This street. Hmm. Lovely day, huh, guys? Looks like it's going to be about a four and a half mile mic, all things said and done. I'm thinking about going to the gym, but I'm also on like 20% battery, 15% battery, so. I ain't trying to be at the gym with my music off. What? 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 Oh. Today was just a hike of dogs. Oh, please ignore the laundry. I have returned from a five mile hike. Yeah? Yeah? Hello, mister. Oh, you yeah, stretched our legs. Hello, mister, I love you. I love you, I'm back to be here. Come down, plop. Good plop, mister. Good plop. Are you smelling all the nature, mister? Yes, mister. Oh, yes. All right, well, we're back, everybody. Five miles done. A little bit longer than expected, but that's okay. We had fun. The dew didn't really hold up. Edibles. We, we had a couple silly moments, but we didn't have a full groovy train ride. But that's okay. You know, there's never anything wrong with just having a good time. 
and practicing moderation. Oh, all oh, the socks are dirty. Am I doing something to you guys right now? Yeah. So it's for free. Oh, that was slow. And that makes me feel well. I guess a little bit protecting. Anyways, I should cover up. I was coming down the mountain and there was this one like really attractive like silver fox dude. Like he must have been like six, three at least. Super broad shoulders. Like the perfect five o'clock shadow, which was silver in his hair. It was like, it was like what we all wish maybe like Adam Levine would have turned into maybe. Like that kind of type, but I shouldn't use his name. Like a, a more saucy... Anderson Cooper, but the same kind of vibe. And he had like an earring too. Why am I just giving you guys the full display? Anyways, get out there friends or don't. That's all right too. The world will continue. To feel free to tell everyone you went on a hike today when in reality you just watched this video. That's okay. That's the social contract of watching these videos. And then if they ever like catch you, like you didn't actually just send them this video and then legally this is okay. If you're a friend and you got sent this video and you're like, who is this person? Why did I just watch this? Why does he really want us to look at his feet? This legal tender. They went on a hike. Why are you checking up on him? That's weird. That's real weird. All right, see you guys.